you probably need to uh, have multiple agents running in your head. <laughs> so one agent is, how do I play good chess? Yeah. Second agent, how do I play not too good of chess? <laughs> and third agent is, how do I help Lex uh, move correctly? <laughs> correctly, sure. Okay, we have five minutes each. Uh, looks like I've got, you've given me white Lex, which is yeah. nice of you. Uh, we will we'll start the clock. So my clock's counting down. Yeah. Okay. Non-standard. Yeah, the English opening. You know, I'm English, yeah. so I have to do that. So you know, you press the clock when you're when you've done your move. That's a good starting move. Very solid, Lex. Oh, that's not a good. Yeah. Move. yeah no, this sorry. is good. This is very solid. Okay. We're quite far away from the uh, from the board. You to, oh yeah. Thank yeah, you. I'll press your oh, clock yeah, for you. I'll Don't get, worry. <laughs> I'll get used to. It. All right. Are we far away from the English opening at this point? No, this is a this is a good line. You're playing very um very standard. You have to get used to it. The they they always do the funny thing where uh, uh very nice you pinning have to me. Take, uh you have to take notes of actually what move you're t you've taken. Yes. Uh yeah, that's a good always a good plan, keeping the king safe. I'm gonna do the same. Play very so well so far. Would you would you say I mean, yeah. any major this mistakes is, at this no, point? No, nothing so far. This is so I'm good, not gonna. I'm, I have oh, to, here's yeah. the bishop knight swap that we were talking about earlier, right? The tension you're creating, the tension in the created tension relieving in the game, the tension, perhaps. relieving the tension, exactly. All right. Now it gets harder. Now you have to come up with your middle game plan. Would you say you what's... did a very good opening? <laughs> so you're in a, you're in a, you're in a fine position so far. Right. Yeah, very nice, very nice. What's your strongest opener, opening game or end game? What would, uh, would I would say probably in the middle game, middle game. So this kind of, this kind of point. Very good. Very good. Very aggressive. Very aggressive legs. If I could, if I could <laughs> sacrifice pieces, <laughs> I, you I really to. would. Uh, that's not a good move, is no, it? No, that's a good move. That's a very nice move. Um, Are you afraid nice. of using the queen? Uh, yeah, the queen, you know, you've got to be careful when you use the queen. I need to complicate the game a little bit for you. You're, you're, you're doing too well, Lex. Oh, am I losing a piece here? No, you're not losing a piece. You're doing okay, actually. I'm going to take it anyway. It's only a pawn. <laughs> That's how it starts. It's only a pawn. That's how it starts, but it's only a pawn. Yeah, very good. <laughs> this is not still a pawn. Only a pawn. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I have to. Uh, I, d I don't feel comfortable with you having a queen on the board. <laughs> <It just laughs> take makes, the queens off. Less dangerous. <laughs> makes me feel much safer. Yes, yeah, so and now we're in the end game now. So you're you're on better territory. What's now. the definition of an end game? Well, the queens coming off is usually the beginning of the end game. It's not the only um, part of the end game, but it's it's one bit of the end game. See, that's a pretty cool idea what you've done there. I'll take off your knight now. I think the internet's yeah. going to disagree with that. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm um, see this is an interesting dynamic position with your bishop and my knight, but my my knight's in a good, good strong spot there. Ah, uh, so you're attacking the bishop. My my oh, the bishop is not. So what do I do with this bishop? Yeah, what are you maybe do I bishop? threaten you some other kind of way. All right. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, but then you're going to attack there. I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm just running scared. You're running scared Fear now. Fear can't run. <laughs> <laughs> you can't move. run it. Um, okay. Yeah. That's not, is that? Oh, that's oh, fine. That's the only move, actually. This is the only one. Yeah. All right. It feels like there's not much to do here. Well, you got to, you have to have to come at something good here. Oh, boy. And the time's running out. And the time's running out. Escape, that's a good escape for your king. I'm going to come here now. Yeah, there's nothing else. There's nothing Just else. Take another, get another one of your pawns. I feel like there's some smart move that I'm totally missing. <laughs> yeah, that seems reasonable. But I'm not going to take a second pawn. Okay, that's what you mean. Yeah. I'm going to go here. Maybe just eat away at the... Eat away at your stuff. All right. Yeah. Uh, this is not. This is <laughs> slowly, slowly constricting slowly. you. 
Yeah, it's only going to take all your pawns. You've played very well, though, Lex. You haven't made any major mistakes. But it's just slow, <laughs> slow, slow death. The internet, <laughs> yeah. honestly, will very much disagree. But um, let's see. This A slow death is better than... Than a, than a fast death. <laughs> <laughs> Embarrassing in the beginning. <laughs> this I didn't get checkmate in the first few moves. No, exactly. This feels very constraining. Yeah, you're, very you're getting uncomfortable. slowly constrained now. I'm I trying like, to play like alpha zero. Um, is it that without the defining? Yeah, a kind of controlled, uh, controlled end. You know, the interesting thing is the willingness to sacrifice pieces by Alpha yes. Zero. That's so beautiful. It's, it is beautiful. See, so now I'm going to make use of all these pawns I've taken. Um, would you say your Alpha Zero is much better than you at sacrificing pieces? Oh, yeah. Intentionally. I sometimes, you know, lose them by mistake. <laughs> <laughs> but Alpha Zero is planning to lose them. It feels extremely constraining. Yeah. How close are you, checkmate? Is there any way for me out of this? Not really, no. So these pieces can't. Yeah, I'm getting basically all your pieces are getting constrained. I'm just going to march these pawns down here or bring this rook to help out. Okay. So you've, if I take this knight with the rook. Yeah, you could gonna... do that. That would be a final sort of um, hope. My knight's, you see how strong my knight's been in this game compared to your bishop. Yeah. As we were talking He's earlier. It's already done the damage. Yeah, it's done all the damage. Yeah, you can get rid of him now. But I think he's already, it's already. Oh, and my time ran out. Not and your time ran out. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to finish the game. Finish the game right, anyway. Right, right. Uh, your time ran out. So you've lost once, but we can we can lose two times. Um, yeah, take that. But now I'm going to get take advantage of your back rank weakness. All right. And, uh, right. And then this pawn structure, and you're going to bring out the other yeah, rook. Yeah, I'm going to bring the other rook, finally going to swing the other rook into the game. Check. And I'm just going to keep writing. <laughs> yeah, keep writing. How many uh, moves would you estimate here? Uh, it's going to be about 10 from here. I'm going to swap your rook off. Your final defensive piece I'm going to take. Is that a sh no, that's that's fine. fine. Well, you can. I'll check you here. Oh, yeah. And then you just march that. Yeah, I'm gonna to march this pawn to the end now. Well, I think this is uh, Thank a you. good. <laughs> <laughs> you this played well. An honor uh, to have been defeated so gracefully. You played very, very well. I was impressed. I was impressed. You, you did, you did great. I didn't ask you. What do you think is the most beautiful thing you've seen Alpha Zero do? Oh like, yes, personally. Yes. Yeah, so there was actually the most beautiful game that I've seen Alpha Zero play is, is being dubbed the Immortal Zogswang game mm -hmm. by. Uh, uh, Akadamata on the one of the YouTube brilliant YouTube uh, commentators, uh, uh, and he it was uh, Alpha Zero playing Stockfish mm -hmm. and um, sacrificing a load of pieces to uh, get Stockfish's all of the Stockfish's major pieces, Queen and Two Rooks, stuck in the corner, mm -hmm. basically sealed them up like in a tomb. <laughs> yeah. And Zugzwang means uh, that uh, any move that the player makes will make it, their position worse. And um, it's never been done to Stockfish before, and Alpha Zero did it super elegantly. Through sacrificing, sacrificing pieces. Sacrificing pieces, yeah. It's a beautiful video online on it. And thank you for giving me and signing this book, Game You're welcome. Chain. You're welcome. Uh, what's, what is the book about? The book was written by um, the British chess champion and, uh, and uh, woman international master, Natasha Reagan and Matthew Sadler. Uh, and we gave, I known them both for years from my chess days as I was a kid. Mm -hmm. And um, when they heard about Alpha Zero uh, before we released it, they 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 wanted to come in and try it out. And we gave them full behind the scenes access to it. And then um, Matthew Sadler said to me, "It's like discovering the notebooks of a of a of a hidden champion that no one knew about." Yeah. And he then wrote this book about all of the different ideas that Alpha Zero had. And the cool thing is in there in that book. So this is a, it's a chess book, but also the first few chapters about about how we built Alpha Zero, our journey towards it. And then Magnus Carlsen was one of the first people we gave the book to, and he uh, he sort of publicly said it was very useful to him, and he's incorporated a lot of the ideas into his own play. The so, new ideas, yes. you could say, created by Alpha Zero. By Alpha Zero to Lex, be. a fellow explorer of the mysteries of the universe, Demis. That thank you so much. Thank you very much. Honor. Thank you for thank everything you. you do.